It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Denver Broncos, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gordon here in Denver, joined by Charles Davis and CD. The Broncos are looking for a turnaround here in 2023. Coming off a five-win season and a last-place finish in the AFC West, but this doesn't feel like a last-place team. Nor to me, because when you look at them on offense, loaded with skill position players at wide receiver and running back, and then flip it over to the defensive side of the ball, and they can compete with anyone. They make it tough to run your offense. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, you know, they have the pieces in place. They were a playoff team in 2022. What do you see for them this year? You give this team full help throughout the season, and they have a chance to be not just a playoff team again, but beyond, because they'll scare the heck out of you on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, that's where they have to start playing a little bit better. And off we go from Denver. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. Leading them out, the fifth-year Auburn alum got his first career starts last season. Here's Jared Stidham. For a brief time, he was thought to be a possible successor to Tom Brady while he was still in New England, but that didn't materialize. But opportunity may still knock for him to start in the NFL today. Definitely has the arm and mobility to make plays against NFL defenses. All he needs now is consistency. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season. Here's Javante Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Next receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Here's second and three. Here's Stidham to throw. He's got his tight end. It's Chris Manhurts. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix up on the play calling, right? Establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. 
zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Out of the gun, Stidham. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Stidham. That is caught. Touchdown, Broncos. Jerry Judy, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Broncos will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and there on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They're led out by one of the few North Dakota State alums at QB in the NFL, a fifth rounder back in 2019, Easton Stick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. First carry for Austin Eckler, who's a Colorado native. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. On second down, it's Stick. A quick throw there is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drop? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. A fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They've got the 7 to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down.
Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 43 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. I love football lingo, the evolution of it all. Nickel defense makes sense, right? Five uh, defensive maybe. backs. But then you go to six. What are you going to call that? And they call it a Double dive. It. <laughs> <laughs> a dive, which is just very simple for them. The math doesn't add up. But I know one thing. Offenses love to run against dime defenses. Typically, the bigger guys have an advantage against the smaller defensive backs when they're blocking downfield. Yeah, we saw that advantage right there. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. Now it's Stidham. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. A 40-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. Alex Singleton, a former Canadian League star, in on the stop. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action, it's Stick. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Up the middle with Eckler. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. They'll come up facing third and five. Stick looks to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's got some space here. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 58 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Stidham. Out quickly to Judy. Five yards, now it's third and five. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Stidham. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And the rookie, Darius Davis, deep for the Chargers. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger offense making their way back out there. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. First and 10, stick. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now stick. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Here's Stick looking to throw. Keeps himself upright, flush to his right. The ball's out. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. 
Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, here's Stidham. And this one too low. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now it's Stidham. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. A give to Williams, running right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands and see how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. As they've got it, and he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Mike Burton taking it in from two yards out. And the Broncos are able to stretch out their lead. And that's why you have the fullback, Charles. Couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old-school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. Lutz good on the extra point. And that makes our score 17-0. the touchdown Lutz to kick it off from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one so out come the Chargers and we don't want to call this desperation time especially in the second quarter but you're you don't down want to no but oh, let me finish okay my bad. you're down three scores already you've done nothing offensively nothing on the scoreboard that's that's not a good combination 
I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. <laughs> I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Sticks throw taken in by Palmer. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. It's Eckler again. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Stick back to pass. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 44-yard line. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Stick from the gun. They'll find Everett there, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And down inside the 15 he goes. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Here's Stick on first and 10. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. Let's face it, if you wanna get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you gotta hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. The handoff, it's Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, it's Stick. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. getting out of hand early. They add a pick six to the ledger now. Three score lead still in the first half. And all that celebrating that you see and hear from those defenders is not just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six. It's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream. Lots will look to add the extra point. Yeah. 
And the lead is now 24. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Denver Broncos back out there. Former Tar Heel Javante Williams, we shine the spotlight on him. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams, and they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. This second and four. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down of the 46. 103 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Off the option, here's Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Now they'll throw it with Stidham. Throw left side complete to Troutman. 
First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Off the play fake, here's Stidham. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him, and I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Now Stidham. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football and picked up by the Chargers. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, that's the down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. DJ Jones, former 49er, there on the stop. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler. 13-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers get a bit closer. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. He's got it, and that makes our score 24-7. to so that drive, four plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. 
And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante Williams, the running back. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Stidham again here on second and ten. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Stidham sets to throw on first. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On second down, here's Stidham. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 31-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Stidham will throw again. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. To throw is Stidham. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Now it's Stidham. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Again, Stidham. I had a man over but he missed him and it's incomplete and I feel like my man old Mo momentum might be changing jerseys right now how about what they just got done they scored a touchdown their last drive now here's a three and out maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline the kick by Lutz is good and that will extend their lead even further 
So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue. But all in all, this coach's staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a good first half of football by Jarrett Stidham. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Stick. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Josh Palmer, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Here's Stick looking to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the give, this is Eckler. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll throw on second down is Stick. 
And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Chargers. Quentin Johnston, 65 yards. And the Chargers are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Off the draw, here's Williams. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Now it's Stidham. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Stidham. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Stidham. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Out routes are always timing routes, and if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second, because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Here's Stidham to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. 
okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo, the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And not much there at all as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Stick back to pass. A quick throw there is incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stick from the gun. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a give running left is Eckler. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now stick. They finds his target, Allen. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 37. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Stick looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. And this was a little bit of the knock on him coming out of college. Sometimes the concentration could wander a bit. This should have been a big play, but somehow he's not able to corral it. On second down, it's stick. His throw complete right side to the tight end, Parham. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. But that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 13-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Second and six at the Broncos nine yard line. Oh, 
Here is Eckler. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They're going to look to throw. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Gerald Everett, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead will shrink to six. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. On first and ten, it's Stidham. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They go play action with Stidham. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Stidham. Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. I like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Denver. Returnable here for Davis. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. 
extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now on second and 13, stick. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive man or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Yeah, they'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Williams going to get it again on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. The Broncos on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and nine. Now Stidham, off play action. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. This quick pass complete to Sutton. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Stidham. A short one of the tight end Troutman. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. 
They try the left side here with Williams. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams, 28 yards. And the Broncos are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. They'll look to run for it with Williams. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Sticks throw there complete to Allen. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Stick. That's complete to Palmer. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Stick looking to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett, but it's going to be second down. Stick looks to throw it again. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 43. Up the middle with Eckler. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. 
he certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game deficit's still there but he's starting to hit them with some big plays first and ten stick and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second down and a yard. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets them down to about the two-yard line, knocking on the door. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Eckler diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense back out onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They go play action now. Stidham. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Second and 10. Now Williams running left. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 152 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Third and four. To throw is Stidham. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is stay in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they're going to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the play. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 43-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Stidham. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. So the Chargers now down by seven. Just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Stick looking to throw on first and ten. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he's brought down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Stick. Pass hauled in by Johnston. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now stick. Right side, he has Johnston. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first down. He'll look to throw. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. 43 seconds to play. Here's second down. He's back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Trying to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You got to take some chances. Nice job to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you got to take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. Well, this crowd into it now. Third and two. Back to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the 
the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Broncos will take over on downs. So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he is going to have the Broncos first, and that should be the capper. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured. They go down to a knee. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. This should be the final piece to the puzzle as Stidham goes down to a knee. Riley Dixon in punt formation. Oh, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win? So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.